Okay, before I start talking about the Wither Horde uh, catalyst here, I'm going to talk about something that's really important here, which is if you decide to grind for this gun, you got to make sure that you finish it in this season, Season Arrivals, because in the Season Pass, as you can see here, at rank uh, 11, you get double the objective progression for a catalyst, or if you go to rank 22, you get quadruple the progression. And it's really important to get to, get to these steps first, before you actually grind for the catalyst, as it is obviously a lot more worth it to get these buffs before you like start playing Crucible or playing uh, Strikes to get the progress done, as you have to play activities in order to finish uh, this catalyst or one of the catalyst steps. Uh, you see a lot of people, you know, playing Crucible at the beginning on the first day, grinding grenade launcher kills and all that stuff, and it's like you're getting one kill, one point per kill. You need 200, right? 100 kills in total but if you get this at rank 22 that's four points per one kill so like it's a lot faster and when you in it instead of getting one point per match you get four points per match and you get one extra point uh for every crucible match so you get five points in total so honestly if you are going to grind for this and you have the premium season pass i recommend obviously trying to get this first all right so let's talk about uh, how we get this catalyst but first things first when you pick up uh, the box here, if you have these premium season pass, as soon as you pick this up, you go to Banshee, you pick up a quest. If not, if you don't have season pass, then once you get to rank 35, then you can claim uh, this weapon, and then you go to Banshee, and then you, get the, and you can go for the Catalyst for that. So, yes, so we have, when you talk to the first tank of the gun, you go to Banshee, and you get the first step here. Uh, the bank job is what the quest is called, and you get one last job, or high stakes heist now, it's, it's a little bit weird, uh, but yeah, so the high stakes heist uh, job is like to get get kills with a grenade launcher, basically, when you get kills with a grenade launcher, uh, you get uh, these vault keys, there's a chance you might get a vault key, you might not get a vault key here and there, um, but it, it is a very... And it's a pretty medium chance. I don't know. It's average. You'll get them once in a while. I would recommend just using the actual gun with a horde, as you can kill multiple enemies pretty quickly. So it is very very simple stuff. We can show some progress that we get uh, a little bit here. As you can see here, that we're using the wither horde, and we're getting kills of a green launcher here, and the, just getting kills of the green launcher. Eventually, we will get some vault keys. As you can see on the right side, it pops up on the right, and we get vault keys. So you need 50 of those to progress. I'm not sure if this, if this, per, if you get like rank 22, you don't actually do this step. I don't know if it's faster. Maybe it is. You get more points for that. But once you finish the vault key steps, uh, you get the quest where you have to get uh, 300 match completes. I'm gonna get, let me try to, let me find, try to find the picture of that real quick. Okay, so as soon as you finish the 50 vault keys, you get this, the bank job here. We have to get uh, complete objectives like. Uh, the strike playlists, nightfalls, gambit matches, and crystal matches. Like I said earlier, crystal wins, gambit wins, and nightfall completions give you more progress. Like I said, you get one point for filthy liqueur, uh, and then you get if you get multi kills green launcher, you get one point, and then if you get one kill for green launcher in crucible, then you get one point for that as well. But with a double with the times two, then you get two two points for completing, and well the same as everything else. And then when you get uh, four times, you get four points. Per match complete, and then you get obviously four points for one kill and four points for one multi kill. And like I said earlier as well, we get a crystal win. I'm not sure about if it's different for gamma wins or nightfalls, but you get five points instead of four points. That's just the extra, most efficient progress you get. Not a huge increase, but it's around there, here and there. Not too, too much, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so for me, I played a lot, a lot of Crucible to get this, get the filthy look here. Or I don't know, lacquer or whatever it's called. I don't know why I'm saying lacquer. Uh, multi kills is just from anywhere. You could just farm that from it just by playing the game, just doing strikes, just use a weapon. I just use Wither Horde for most of this. I don't even. I have Mountain Top, but I don't. I don't. I don't really care. Um, grenade launcher is for Guardian kill eliminations. Like I said, I'd wait if you want. If you want to get a hundred kills right away, then just get the f get. You know, just try to get uh, the the rank twenty two. And just get kills. I didn't like. I use Wither Horde to get kills. It's actually a really, really fun gun. People say it's not that great in PvP. I love it in PvP. If you play control, just pop it down on the control point and you can't capture it. And the best thing I did to kill people with it is a lot of baiting. You know, bait people to walk into it. So, what the best thing to do is either shoot it in front of them or shoot it behind them. 
and when you shoot it behind them, if you have like an auto rifle or some sort of weapon that's your secondary, you switch your secondary and try to shoot them, shoot at them. Sometimes it gets people, a lot of people, a lot of people when I fight against them, they run away. When you get really low health, they, like, they back up, or they will go sideways, you know. So if you shoot them behind and then you start shooting them, they will walk backwards into it. Don't try to kill them with the auto rifle or uh, hand cannon. Just, you know, push them a little bit back and they'll get killed. Or there's a lot of times, I don't have footage of this, but there's a lot of times where you can just bait them and then they'll just die eventually. Uh, it's a really fun gun. Obviously, if you don't know, if you direct hit, it'll one shot as well or it'll kill them eventually. But it's a really, really fun gun if you want to learn how to play with it. You just spam a lot, <laughs> to be honest. It's kind of annoying. It takes like four ticks of damage. You can, as someone who someone who's standing directly in it, if you do fight against with a horde, you do can take three ticks, right? Um, once you look, you can dodge it once you get hit by it. If you, it's really easy to get run out of pretty much. But there's some ways to do some trickery stuff with it. It's pretty fun uh, to play around. So yeah, we get that. I can show you guys my pro, my my crucible stuff. I, honestly, it is saddening, and you can see I try really hard to win my matches. But like I said, winning matches is faster. But yeah. Okay. So crucible. Let's talk about crucible. How much we played. You can see that. Our ELO, I guess, this works as an ELO system, so we got Platinum 1, we play a lot of control. Uh, so our session, we had 38 minutes ago, we played a lot, uh, how much is that? That's uh, 9 games right there, and then 5 hours ago we played again, we had 16 games, as you can see here. If you look at my kills we got, uh, we, we I try really hard to win matches, but you only get 25 kills, we still don't win. But quick drills, I think the, it's faster than Clash, for sure. And then 22 hours ago, I played another 13. But of course, we played a lot of other stuff like strikes before that to get some progress. Not all, no, I didn't play all the matches and control to get it done. I, you know, played the power grind and do that kind of stuff. But uh, we did, you know, to finish it off, we played a ton, a ton of control. Our best game is probably like this one here. Now, Crucible, it might, you might seem like it might be wasting your, just wasting your time trying to finish this quickly. But what I did for this to be efficient is that I did I used the villagers villagers wing, and that allowed me to finish the catalyst for it. We need 250 kills in crucible, and I did finish that obviously by him by doing that many games. Um, if you don't if you had that already done, then you already you have the Shiro's regime or regimen uh, that will also I also have a catalyst that will need crucible kills for that. So if you don't so if you need to get those done, you can do that while trying to grind for this catalyst. Also, if you don't have any pinnacle weapons down, like the Roker, uh, Mountaintop, Recluse, I mean, they're going to be sunsetted anyways, but I mean, still, they're pretty good guns right now to get or try to get. Um, but yeah, those guns, you know, you can try doing that. Or you could just wait for a fun game mode. You can have Scorch Cannons, which is coming up pretty soon, Mayhem, or even Momentum Control. Those game modes, or even Iron Banner. If you like Iron Banner, then you can grind for that as well. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, th there are things where... I, you don't have to rush it right now, but uh, uh, there, are, there are some game modes where you can just go a lot faster than what I did, for sure. Like, like I said, Scorched is fast. Mayhem is really fast. And Momentum, momentum Control can be pretty good as well. So yeah, that's pretty much what we did. We also did Felwinter's Lie, uh, Shotgun, and there's a reason why as well to grind for. I, I, did, I like the, the most efficient thing to do. We pick up bounties, of course, and we also try to do everything, grinding things that we don't have finished yet. So we'll talk about that. Uh, right after this here. All right, so one last thing before we go talk about the catalyst stuff and try it out. Uh, of course, I got to the grind for it still, but I was gonna pick it up just to see uh, first impressions and stuff. Um. Okay, so what the, the thing with the fell winters lie is that there's actually, if you didn't notice, but if you go to your collect uh, triumphs, you go to your lore. There was that new lore book that came out, I think, last season, uh, the liar. Um, and to get actually progress with this shotgun, you just need to kill enemies with the shotgun, and then take the thorn. Basically, get kills with the thorn. You get the lore book. About the same rarity. Uh, obviously, you don't have to play PvP to get the kills with. But I mean, I feel like it's a lot faster. Maybe I don't know. I, I never tested it out in PvE or got a lot of lore books in PvP. I got so many kills. I got the lore books. Like I killed like three people, and I got like two lore books. So like it feels like it's just a lot faster in PvP. It's not like if you're a lore person, yeah, you can go for it, but it's just like another side thing that I grinded for. It's not that uh, you get a lot of triumph points, a lot of triumph points, I guess, if you're into that kind of stuff. But you know, if you just read it there, you just need, need the shotgun to use it. All right, so let's get started and uh, let's get this uh, callus going. I gotta grind. Like I said, I probably have to get 300 kills with it, but uh, I, I got a grind spot if you don't know. But uh, we're gonna head into that and yeah. 
okay one thing i've got to mention is that this is actually the first week still of this of the season week one we're just recording at 2 a.m 3 a.m in the morning right now uh so yeah, i picked this up like i said i'll probably have to actually do cal stuff yep enemies defeated yeah 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 i just want to see first hands uh what is the progress like or what is how much kills do we actually need here um let's see let me double check let me go open dim real quick okay it's a lot i need 400 kills in total which is a lot to kill but since it's an aoe weapon it shouldn't be that that bad for sure um so yeah, i think I've got, we have a couple spots we could go to i think i'm going to the last wish raid but i can normally get 90 kills per round which is not that bad but i think i have a better spot for right now i think i might go to the moon and i'm gonna do soros harbor if you don't know soros harbor it has the uh, public event there, uh, Altars of Sorrow, and it just has endless um, hive thrall that keeps spawning. So I might just go there and try that out. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna time myself and see how long this takes me to finish. If not, I'll probably have to. Uh, I don't I don't want to go to last wish raid because it's uh, it's about to be really reset, and so it's gonna reset my. Uh, I don't think that looks like it's not a big deal to go there and you know just put the wish in, and then it's gonna reset in like 12 hours from now. Um, but yeah, I just, I know, I'm just gonna do it and see how it goes. Uh, I see, I'm gonna time myself. So right now it's 2.56 a.m. And I'll be back when I'm done doing the grind here. And then we'll check out how the catalyst feels. I hear it's pretty good, but uh, I don't know. I haven't seen much about it uh, for myself. I don't, like, I don't really watch videos about guns and stuff. But uh, I want to see it for myself. So uh, we'll get it done and see how it goes. Okay, so it's basically all, this is all I'm doing right now. Just I'm at the altar of sorrows, like I said. And I'm just sitting here, throwing down these withers, all these blights on the floor. And every time you see, I get plus one second. That is basically one kill. Uh, right now it's 3:11 a.m. Last time I said I started at 2:56 a.m. And we are about 67 uh, percent. We're almost done. Uh, doing this grind here. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Just find a spot. Make sure you pick up ammo, of course. The only problem is that it's a public area. So you have to fight for kills, but with Wither Horde, you're just gonna stand there, basically. And just make sure you're getting the spawn points with the Thrall spawn out. Usually, like, two is good enough, or you can stack them if you want. But they just run into it, right? They don't really avoid the Blight on the floor. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be... I'll come back when I'm, uh, pretty much, uh, done. With this grind. Alright, just finished the catalyst. It's 316, so it took about 20 minutes to get the catalyst done in the Sowers of Harbor area on the moon. I'm not sure if it's faster on the wish. There's other places you could farm, like I said. You can go to, like, what, the Whisper Quest, and there's a couple other spots you could go to, like the Bad Juju uh, Quest as well. Let's take a look, a brief look. I actually don't know what exactly what it does right now, but I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit and then I'll come back and do some more testing, basically, here. Let me quickly just delete some stuff. All right, uh, what do we have? Just put it on. All right, the handling, holy crap. That's insane, all right. Uh, so, of course, generates orbs when you get multi-kills with it. Uh, so it increases handling by a lot. Holstering this weapon automatically reloads it after showing it. it gets auto holding los, roll, uh, holster. Is that all it does? Hmm, interesting. That would be a little bit more with that, but it is pretty strong still. Handling, huh? What's handling do again? The speed, which be ready and aimed. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 an increase for sure. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Let me get some kills here real quick. Let me see how much orbs light we can generate with this. Let's see. Put it away. Back out. Oh, all right. Equip. All right. It's just regular all over hole. You don't have to reload the weapon. You like so you basically do like if you have a recluse, I guess. Put that down, and your recluse has uh, master of arms. All right. Oh, it's actually pretty strong with recluse. Oh my god, hang on a minute. You're always if you're getting kills with your wither horde, 
you're always going to have Master of Arms, pretty much. Because you're getting kills with it. I mean, it depends. A scenario depends as well. Alright. You put that down, and then you start killing for your thing. You know, always reset. And then you always have it reload as well. Kind of thing. Not that bad. Maybe in PvP, maybe, but, uh, maybe, I don't know. What's the real use? I can't hear the reload, that's so why I'm, like, picking it up. Kind of thing. But, of course, for closest game, sunset it, so I honestly... It doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it always resets when everybody gets a kill, right? Master of Arms, which is really just a kill clip, but... Don't have to reload. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go... I don't know. Let's go to Tribute Hall just for fun. As always, let's go there real quick. But yeah, I think... I don't know. It's alright. Uh, I always hear that the... Uh, uh, Trinity Ghoul is pretty good as well. Uh, I haven't got grinded that yet. But uh, I might have a stream. Where I'm gonna go grind all the catalysts just for fun. Um, but let's check it out in a more... Less chaotic area. It's not like it's a big... It's not like it increases the damage or anything. It's just auto holster and all that stuff. I don't know. Break the bank. Silent alarm. That would have always said break the bank. Is this this? Oh, yeah. That's the same thing. Yeah, blood it. Yep. Uh, let's put on... This is more useful, I guess. Uh, I mean, I didn't see that much orbs getting generated. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm blind. Um, but yeah, it's... It just gets a, it gets a lot of handling, which I don't I don't know how great that is. Like I said, it just gets quick draw again. It gets quick draw basically, and uh, snapshot sights. But they don't I don't really aim down the sights though for this gun. And then you get all the auto holster loading, whatever it's called, which is okay. Um, people do like that on great launcher. It does take a while to load this. It loads speed's pretty 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 bad, but I don't really have a big problem with that in PvP. I don't really switch weapons that much. I just shoot the two bullets and I'm good. I don't know, maybe it could be good. Honestly, I don't know. I, I Like I said, there's a lot of... It's a very gimmicky weapon. It's not like it's going to be used for everything, right? It could be used for a while because of sunsetting. Oh, it's like exotic, so it won't matter, actually. Um, But yeah, I mean, you shoot it once. And then you switch your weapon. And then you got it again. Thing is, it's a faster than reloading. I don't know. Let's see it do a test. So we shoot it one time, and then reload, and then shoot again. And then if, and if we shoot it, it's probably it's probably the same. Honestly, I don't know. I can't. I don't. I don't have numbers for that. But uh, you just test it yourself. But I mean, it's always fun. It's, it's just a good gun. I feel like it does more damage now, but it could be really, probably not true, though. Like, on bosses, eh, not so much. I guess that's the only good thing about it. Oh, why is it so big? That's new. I don't remember that being that big. It has to be a bug. There's no way it's that big. Uh, is it more? Is it stacked on more and it gets bigger? Maybe it's always just been big. Is it bigger when it when it does that? I actually didn't know that. There's no way it's true. Really? I'm learning something new here. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't even know like when the orbs come. I don't even get a dry orbs here. Anyways, I don't make this video for too too long here, but uh yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, pretty much guess. Oh God, uh, figure that for yourself. But I think it's okay. Not the best. It's just a quality. It's like it's a quality of life update for the gun. Basically, handling and this doesn't increase its damage or anything. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. To be honest, I guess orb lights are nice. I guess. I really don't know. But we're still grinding, so. Who really knows what's going on here? But yeah, alright. Uh, I'm tired. 
I'm almost, I'll be rank 45 pretty soon. Go test this gun out. Cold Denial, I heard it's pretty good. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I like Pulse Rifle, so I'll test it out when I get that. And then we can also do other things with that as well. So, yeah. Because, uh, we, well, tomorrow is weekly reset. So, or whatever. Depending on when you're watching, it doesn't matter. But uh, we get plus five levels. And no matter what, I will get this done. And I think I should be max level of 1050 uh, this week as well. So fun without doing glitch without cheesing the system or just regular grinding so that's the fun stuff we do the fun stuff always so with that being said uh we are done with this catalyst i still haven't even done the tommy's matchbook one yet one day i'll, fin I'll finish oh, i haven't done this one yet i'll finish these i'm gonna finish these on a stream never this if this if that i think that's fixed i would probably do that one I'll do. I got. I got a lot. I got a lot to finish. This one's like impossible to do, but I'm gonna get these catalysts done just because. Why not? We have a lot of these. This one I can't do. Strum, sweet business. I could finish. Huckleberry is really good. Darcy. Yeah, I'll finish these off, and we will be good to go. Where is? Where is, oh, it's this, there it is, I'm blind. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm wasting too much time.